Let me share with you a story of resilience. Loyalty and love for mother nature. A story about a tribe called the missing tribe. Missing, also called Mishing or Miri, is an indigenous river tribe that finds its origin in Mongolia. The tribe later migrated and settled in different parts of Arunachal. But a small section moved further down to the plains of Assam and can be found in Majuli, the world's largest river island. Before we move ahead, let me introduce you to my friend Nick, a native of Marjali who graciously invited me to his house. As I entered, I was mesmerized by the beautiful bamboo floor and ceiling of the house that was standing on stilts to protect it from flooding. Every missing house will always greet you with freshly filtered upon. A homemade beer made with cooked rice mixed with ashes of burnt rice husk and straw and fermented using an yeast made with over 100 medicinal plants and herbs. This mixture is then added to a bamboo filter and what drips at the bottom is a pong. While modernization has brought concrete houses and gas stove to this island, many missing people still use earthen stove below bamboo shells hanging from the ceiling, covered with soot from the fire below. This entire elevated space is considered sacred. <laughs> Just like other tribes, the missing tribe is also non-vegetarian, with rice being their staple food. Evident from the vast rice paddy field covering the island. They also consume a wide variety of wild plants that they now grow in their gardens. But what is more interesting is that they don't use any oil in their cooking and only rely on steaming, boiling or roasting their food. Lunch has been served. We have dal, we have rice, we have aloo and some veggies and some fish pitika and apong. While the missing men are providers of the house, the missing women are responsible for everything else. They take care of the household, look after their children, attend to their kitchen garden, and work in the rice field. They sow the seed, harvest the stock, thresh the grain, and cook the rice. They provide the true farm-to-plate experience. And just when it's time to catch a break, they gather around their stilt houses to create intricate designs on these complicated wooden structures. Life in Majuli is unhurried and laid back. You will often witness farmers farming in the field shepherds herding the cattle, fishermen fishing by the riverside, and caregivers managing the household task. 
The tranquility of this slow-paced life and this silence is only broken by the sound of nature and daily activity. Looking at the faces of the people of Majuli, you wouldn't believe that life in Majuli is a fight for survival. Torrential rain and flood has eroded the island to one third its size, and it is believed that the island may disappear in few years. People of Majuli lose the houses that they built, the clothes that they weaved, the food that they grown, and practically everything else they own. Despite the havoc created by the river, the people of Majuli are not willing to leave the island. But why? The missing tribe is known as a river tribe, living beside a river bed, fishing on the river shore, and harnessing the river water has been a part of the identity of the missing people. Abandoning the river would mean abandoning their own identity. Tell me, what else can define love for Mother Nature better than this? The first sip of a pong. My first sip of a pong. My first sip of a pong. It has a little bit of a sour taste, but it's yum. Gira. Tu ise hi noten ki karte re. Kya bata re? Kya hai? Kani ke liye alu. Alu.